Hop Theron and Taylor, assembling himself on a square of a stage beside a wood stove that heckles with a cackle and a pop. But we don't speak wood stove, and so we mistake it for comforting commentary on poetry moving the wind up and over and awning, trapping pizza smells and anticipation. For Aperana is on that square of a stage, the poet has assembled himself beside a circle of a stool, and so he begins, a breath through a conch horn. The wood stove snaps a fucking conch horn, but we are transfixed. The poet puffs his warrior lungs and spits his native speech, shouts, Mariana! And we are grinning like wildcats. The poet pulls flute to nose, music flows with a grace beyond nostrils, but imperative as an inhale. And we are transfixed to a spot on that circle of a stool. A candle is lit, a nub of wax speaking over the cap of a wine bottle, twisted up, illuminating notes for the poet to play. A book bound in leather, thoughts as feathers, words for ears, and we are grinning like wildcats. The poet shouts, the poet sings, he's licking the colors of poetry with his native tongue, and now he's strumming Betsy the guitar, and the candle dances in response as he stomps the flamenco on that square of the stage. The candle saunters with the lick of a kick ever closer to that leather bind, those feathered words, and we are grinning forward, but still as poetry moves that wild half of a candle ever closer. Will flames spill on leather feather shell flute? Climb up the poet and sizzle his nose hairs? Melt Betsy's croon. We watch fire flirt with a breath of destruction. The poet's song stops with that candle just close enough to illuminate poetry in motion. The, per the poet words shall whistle on string. The poem circling sound, a moth circling light. We exhale into stillness, semi-stillness. And then the poet is done. We applaud, we smell of pizza, we grin the contentment of well-fed wildcats. The wood stove cracks a sardonic smile at the insanity of it all. Within a breath, poetry moves. appreciation without being like, Wah! and then totally like taking the poet off of his name. So that's that. Now I want to get us warmed up a little bit. I want to get us stretched out, warmed up. So um, I say, when I say go, I want you guys to click three times and then shout out the most poetic word that comes to your mind. Ready? We're going to click three times and shout out our poetry. Ready? Go! get Lori May up here all the way from Australia. We're going to take a break and then we're going to get our slam started and Lori's going to come do some more stuff during the slam. So basically you guys are in for a real treat but without further ado we're going to start off the open mic and I just want to say these two people who are about to start off the open mic are dear friends of mine. They've also never been on stage with foreign poetry before, so they are brand new. Give it up for my mates, Katrina! 